2,000 years ago, the Jade Emperor summoned his advisors for a certain world-altering assembly. Why aren't gods popular amongst humans anymore? The gods are ugly. You're too <laughs> old-looking! The court was cacophonous, erupting in unintelligible discourse. All the books were burned, so no one knows who any of you even are! Maybe you should all just rebrand. Yeah! Or make some hotter, cooler gods to replace the old ones. <sighs> that actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. Thus, the heavens announced the Modern Gods Selection Tournament, the MGST. Divine spirits, demigods, and mythical creatures alike all gathered, training as hard as they could for a chance to take home such a luxurious title. One such contender was a young, hot-blooded dragon spirit. Ah, uh, 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 shit. Mm, there's no way I'll be able to win this thing. They were right. I'm not even close to being strong enough. What can I do? And so, he did what any young dragon spirit in his position would do when they're strapped for time and are in need of great power. He went straight down to hell. The room smelled of sulfur and dash. The sweat dripped from the young dragon's brow as he took a seat in front of the massive desk. Yan Wong, I've come to bargain! Uh, unless you're on your lunch break, then I'll come back. The infernos of hell crackled, and the screams of the damned echoed through the walls. Slowly, the looming figure of the Gate Guardian, the King of Hell, emerged from the darkness. Alright, listen. I don't have all day. Show me what you've got and I'll make you an offer. I want power. And don't try to play those stupid uh, fucking genie tricks on me, okay? I already know you can read my mind. Just give me what I want. I'll give you anything you want for it. Easy enough. How about this? I'll give you this flyer and you let me know if you want it. Infinite power. Enough to rise above all for... 20% equity stake in your soul. A wish for a soul was not uncommon for the contracts with the Lord of Darkness. A droplet of sweat slid down the side of his face. He, on shaky legs, stood up from his seat. Selling my soul here means I'll be damned here after death, right? I'll be taken out of the reincarnation loop. The boar tusk entity only nods. Fine. You got yourself a deal, Mr. Shark. Wordlessly, the two shadowy figures shook hands in the Devil's Quarters. He was led away into a murky back room, the location of which history's most wicked favors were granted at a price. Lightning flashed throughout the chamber as the catalyst of unholy power attuning to him. Unbearable pain coursed through his body from the immense pressure, his horn snapping, falling clattering to the ground. The god of death's lift curled upwards into a devilish <laughs> grin. <laughs> the world was dark. The next memory in his recollection. He stood before the grand tournament entrance, stepping through the gates. His shoes clacked loudly against the cobblestone path beneath his feet. Hey, I remember you. The weak little dragon came to play after all, huh? I think you'll find that I'm not like I used to be. You know what, Thomas? I never liked you. I'm gonna kick your ass. One by one, they were dispatched at his hands. The crystal embedded in his body, feeding his ambitions, clouding his eyes in a blinding rage. The Jade Emperor's gaze narrowed as the dust settled in the arena. Only one heroic spirit was left standing on their own two feet. Listen carefully to my words. You are the new generation. You have quite the large shoes to fill. Large, like clown shoes. Ow! Shut up, dumbass. The fact of the matter is grim. 
the gods in heaven have not been doing so well these days. As embarrassing as it is to admit it, we have no idea what humanity is like anymore. Their interests, their lives, their struggles, all of this is unknown to us. As the new line of elemental gods, a part of your duties will include integrating yourselves into societies, understand their ways of living. Sounds like a drag. As boring as it may sound to you, these drags are what keeps the palace afloat. Without it, the world will come crashing down. You take great care not to forget it. If everything is understood, you are released. Your coronation ceremonies will take place in a calendar year. Take this time to prepare thyselves. And so, for the next year following his tournament victory, Lei Zhu Shen found his way across the seas, making a comfortable life for himself in North America. He adopted humanity's customs. He learned the tongues and began shopping, working and socializing just as any other mortal would. He soon also developed a particular interest in the online world, the world of the internet, where things were immortalized in an extraordinary way. A place where people could communicate, play games, and experience life together. It was decided at that moment that this is the domain which Lei Zhu would conquer next. By the might and wisdom of the 36 skies, we gather here today to crown a new guardian, defender and keeper of the domain of thunder and lightning, successor of Lei Gong and Dian Mu. Does this humble spirit ascend these holy steps and accept the divine title of Lei Zhu Shen? Just hurry up and crown me already. I got things to do and places to be.